Nothing like waking up to new Genshin information. Hello, everybody. And today we are going to talk about a bunch of information that just dropped today, officially, and maybe some unofficial stuff as well. If my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I just woke up and this is just how I sound when I just wake up. But that being said, let's dive right into the first thing and that is Ito's rerun banner. And here we go with Ito and Kuki Shinobu, which we all knew about. And then the other two, Revealed four stars happen to be Goro and Chun Yun. And honestly, a little bit surprised on the Chun Yun, but I I had expectations on Goro ha appearing on this banner, and I am not surprised because it does he does have good synergy with Ito. It does make sense. Chun Yun, on the other hand, is a little surprising. That being said, I was expecting a leeway character considering where uh, Ito and Shinobu currently are in the first half of this patch. But what's important here is is this banner good? And in my opinion, I think this is actually a pretty solid banner. If we have the new four star Kuki Shinobu, so people are definitely going to be wanting her. Goro is still a relatively new character. Not a lot of people have Constellation 6 of Goro yet. I don't even have a single copy of Goro, so it is actually pretty tempting for me to build up pity on this banner. Um, that being said, for those of you going for Ito, you can build up on characters that are relatively new, so this is actually a pretty solid banner to be ruling on. There are lots of four stars that a lot of people just don't have fully decked out yet, and Ito is a pretty solid character if you are into his playstyle. And he is actually a pretty solid character nonetheless. The weird one here is Chun Yun. That being said, he is not a terrible character. Uh, one issue here is that once he does his elemental skill, you start doing cryo normal attacks, but that doesn't really affect Ito when he is in his burst because Ito's burst does override Chun Yun's elemental skill, but... Honestly, it's a little weird. I think I think Chun Yun is just thrown in there as a, a slightly uh, last minute thing. If you want to build pity or if you want to get Ito, this is a solid banner to be wishing on. One thing to note is that if you do not want Ito but are considering building pity, I would wait until the end of patch 2.7 just to see what characters are appearing in the next raid up banner just to play it safe. Moving right on to the weapon banner and it is not as good as the character banner because of memory of dust. That being said, Redhorn Stone Thresher is a pretty solid weapon on Ito. His signature weapon does boost his DPS quite significantly, but if you are patient enough to wait, I would avoid rolling for this because the other option just isn't that good. Um, aesthetically decent looking on Ningguan's base skin, but that's about it. That being said, let's take a look at the four stars, and we've got ourselves the Stringless, the Lion's Bane, Sacrificial Sagment, Dragon's Bane, and the Lithic Blade. Now, all I've got to say is that that four stars are actually kind of pretty good. The only one that's not as good is probably the Lithic Blade, but it is okay if you have like a full team of leeway characters or even just three. It is pretty decent. It can be put on Chun Yun if you have enough leeway characters it's not that bad of a weapon that being said all the other four stars really good if you don't have r5 on any of the other four i would suggest going for it if you are willing to make a couple wishes that being said this is more of a in my opinion build up your, your weapon banner pity because the five stars the risk is just not really worth it unless you are really want willing to spend big bucks but yeah stringless solid venti official uh signature weapons for the most part unless you have like elegy of the end lion's bane is pretty good especially Especially now that we have uh, Raiden National, you can put this on Bennett and not have to worry too much about energy recharge, so it is actually a pretty good weapon. Sacrificial Fragments is just an all-round amazing weapon on a lot of characters, especially on a character like Sucrose. Dragon's Bane is pretty okay on a number of characters. It is pretty good four-star options for Hu Tao and Shang Ling if you want to do that. But that's it about that we weapon banner. On other news, other stuff that we already know about is that we have Kuki Shinobu's Hangout that we are about to do. I'm pretty excited to see this one. I've been seeing a couple of leaks popping here and there of like the end images after each route. I've been trying to avoid that, but it has been unavoidable. But it has been hyping me up for this because I'm actually quite excited to uh, see what this uh, hangout has in store for us. Now, other things is that on Twitter, there have been a number of leaks, including uh, Kuki Shinobu's trailer, which I'm hoping that it ends up coming out tonight so that I can react to it and watch it and get a little hype for Kuki Shinobu. And last but not least, uh, we've got more leaks on the 2.8 era side of things. We got its banner. I won't be showing it on screen. That being said, that will be all for today's video. Short and sweet, hopefully. And um, till next time, adieu 
and goodbye.